Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So it's Monday, so it's time for another episode of the 3 and 30 Alphabet Challenge that Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda started way back in the summer. And she's almost done with hers. I think she just recorded um, or just uploaded letter Y, so she's almost done. I am on letter N, and N, um, we are doing nature today. Oh, I've got a big old, ew, I'm gonna cut that off. Um, anyway, so yeah, N for nature. So I just kind of went with the flowery, um, you know, burlap and, you know, natural kind of uh, feel. Um, and I have a bunch of stuff here. Um, I have some sorry silk over here that, you know, I don't know. I just have a bunch of stuff. So I have a couple ideas. We'll see how it goes. Um, I've pulled out some book pages. Let me move some of this out of the way. I have these and I'm going to try to use the one of them anyway. Um, and I can't for the life of me right now, remember where these came from, but they're, they're awesome. And they're like the perfect size. They're a little clear, but they're kind of frosty. I don't know. I'm going to try to use that because I think that's cool. I have an idea. Um, this was part, this was on an envelope that was given to me, uh, through happy mail, I believe. And then I just have some random book pages here of beautiful flowers and nature -y type stuff. So yeah. All right. Let's just get started because who knows what's going to happen. Um, I'll get my glue open. I'm trying the tacky glue. Um, the art glitter glue is making me a little angry lately. I don't know if I just got a bad batch or what, but it just feels, it just seems to be awfully, um, not watery. It's not watery. The texture is fine, but it just is reacting weird and it is um, warping paper and stuff this time, which I've never had that issue before. So I don't know. And I'm, I just, so it's just sitting over there and I'm just ignoring it for the time being. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll try the tacky glue. And obviously, you know, I have good old fabric tack here as well. So yeah, let's just get started guys. So I've got my timer here and we'll just hit start. So I hope everyone is having a good day so far. It's a Monday. I know some people don't like Mondays. I, it doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me. Um, it's just another day for me really, because I don't have to go to work or anything. Um, this is my job, but I understand the feeling. I used to work outside the house and it was, Awful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the idea I had with um, this first, I think. So I have this beautiful, I think it was the back cover of a, a Reader's Digest magazine. Um, and I'm not sure if, the, I can't remember. I, this may have been given to me in Happy Mail. So it is a little large right now. So I'm going to kind of trim it down here. Um, and I'm just going to use my ruler to kind of tear an edge. Uh, and I probably would use this like more like a tip in, you know, like, so I think what I'll do first, because that would be the case is I'm just going to tear some, um, I can't think of words, no words today, tea dyed paper. Here. And we'll glue that on the back. And let's see. I don't know. Just take a little edge off the side here so it's torn on both sides. Not really a big deal. So I had a fun weekend. I went to the antique mall with my husband on Saturday. I hadn't really. I had been, not to that one. Um, I had been to a smaller one, even though, you know, I was doing the no spend challenge that some crazy person came up with. <laughs> that would be me. Um, but this was like my first big trip since that ended. And yeah, we had a blast. We were there for hours. We almost traversed the whole place this time, which, um, We've never actually in one trip looked at every single 
booth and um, you know, we've, we've never done it. It's huge, this particular antique mall. And I found some really cool things. Um, I might do, I'm, I'm still trying to decide if it's cool enough to, sh I mean, it's cool for me and I, you know, like I think some people would enjoy it. I'm just trying to decide if it's cool enough to do like a whole haul video. <laughs> um, if so, I will do that and it'll um, be up tomorrow. But I'm not sure yet. I can't decide. But yeah, it was, it was a blast. We were exhausted. I mean... I don't, I, I do stuff like that and then I kind of regret it just because with fibro walking around like that for hours is um, not great, but hey, I can't live my life in my house all the time, right? Gotta get out and have some fun. All right, hopefully, yep, yeah, there we go. But yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. We had, we had a good time. And then yesterday was Oscar day. <laughs> and uh, we went, it was still, it wasn't supposed to be rainy. It rained all day Saturday. So it was a perfect day to be at the antique mall, but um, it rained a bit. Like it was kind of drizzly yesterday. So, but he, you know, we try to get him out to do something, you know, a walk or we try to go to the dog park with him on Sundays, but um, with all the rain we've had, we knew it would be a muddy, nasty mess. And we didn't necessarily want to deal with that. So we took him um, to one of our local parks here and we just had a nice, a nice walk around the lake. And you know, that was that. And then we went to, we went to a pet store cause we, needed to get him some um, uh, food. Well, I mean, not food, we didn't need to get him food. We're having some issues getting him to eat um, a new food that he's on. He's allergic to chicken and um, we, uh, it's, just, it's a long story, but he was on a food that we thought was fine and then we've been giving it to him for months and then we went to order it again and I think they changed the formula. <laughs> yay right um so it had some chicken in it now and yeah so we had to find something else all right so what i'm let me tell you what i'm doing here so you're not wondering what in the heck is going on where are my oh there we are um so what i'm trying to do here uh oops that didn't work there we go oh darn it I hate when that happens. Why did that happen is the question. It's okay. Let's see if we can maybe get that a little nicer. Um, all right, like I said, I'm going to make this kind of like a, a tip in at some point. I don't know this. Honestly, right now, it's just going to go in my bin of, of kind of like make ahead type items. But in the future, I think I would make it like a tip in on a page. And I thought it might be cool. So you've got this, you know, and then it would kind of like flip out and you've got writing space on the back. And then I thought I could make like a clear pocket here um, with this little piece of whatever it is. I'm trying to decide which glue I wanna use though. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to go with this and we'll see what happens. I don't know, but anyway, so we switched foods to like a, a salmon um, formula and he loved it the first few days and then he kind of stopped being interested in eating. And I'm not sure if it was, um, you know, the food. I'm gonna kind of spread this with my finger so it's not so lumpy. Or if he's just kind of like going through a phase where he's not terribly hungry. Oh, dang it. Cause you know, maybe he's not growing or something. I don't know if that's a thing that dogs do. 
Um, but anyway, so long story, <laughs> very long story short, we needed to try to find something to, you know, like spark his appetite, I guess is what I'm trying to say, you know, like a wet food or something that would be more exciting for him. So, um, we went to the pet store. <laughs> that was a, <laughs> a long, long story to just tell you we went to the pet store, but that's what we did. Um, and he's so cute when you take him to the pet store because, and he's such a good boy. They, this, oh, yeah. Can you tell I don't work with the tacky glue very often? Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, this particular pet store has some, like has an aisle with like bins of bulk treats that you can, you know, like weigh out kind of like at a Whole Foods type of situation. But they have them, I mean, the bins are literally on the ground. <laughs> And I was, I was laughing with Mike, my husband, because I'm like, how many of these treats do you think they lose in a day? Because, you know, most dogs, I would think would go in there and, you know, just eat and you know, just help themselves. Like it's like a smorgasbord, right? Um, <laughs> but Oscar is such a good boy. He sniffed them, but he never tried to eat them. We didn't even have to like tell him. It was so sweet. All right. So there is that. So now we have like a little tuck spot pocket here, but it's clear. So let me find something we can put in there. Um, yeah. Should have thought that through. Here we go. This will work. So we could put a tag here. It's still really pretty, but then you've got like a little surprise picture underneath. So let's go ahead and ink this up. So yeah, so we did that yesterday. Oh, and he, it's so, they had a whole display, like huge display of like Christmas themed, you know, dog toys that now they have on clearance, which I just think is hysterical because um, I don't think there's a dog on the planet that cares what season <laughs> their toys were from, right? Um, this was just a craft, this was either a craft, yeah, it was a craft tag that I, I embossed so it's got like this fun ridge on it now. Um, anyway, they were super cheap. I mean, really cheap uh, toys, like toys that were like $6 before that we got for less than two. And we let him kind of pick. It was so cute. Oh my gosh. It's adorable. It's like having small children again. Um, I don't know if I like this color with this though. And that's kind of a mess. Let's see what else we have here. Um, well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to figure this out. It's all over my of time. Let's just go with some of this. So anyway, he came home with a couple of toys and he was very happy about that. So that was my weekend. I hope you all had a good weekend. There, and I'm not gonna decorate the tag or anything because I think it's nice to just have it like that. And then I would use some washi tape or something and you know, make that like a flip out in a journal. So, okay, that is done. Next, um, this is something I learned from the lovely Tracy Fox like a long time ago. I can't remember um, how long ago she probably uploaded the video, but um, I started watching her a little over a year ago. Um, and she makes pockets and tags out of book pages and it's super simple. Um, so I just wanted to do that. I have this book that has the gorgeous illustrations on one side and then print on the other. So it's kind of perfect for this project. So the pocket um, you make by folding it into sort of thirds, but not, you know, it doesn't have to be 
um, exactly. I hope I'm remembering how to do this properly. It has been a while since I've made these, but you just want enough of an overlap that you can, um, you know, put a line of glue there. Like so. So before I actually glue it down, I'm gonna add ink to this rough edge here. And actually, I'm gonna also put a little thumb notch in the top. And I'm just gonna go ahead and ink all around it. really care about this particular edge here because it's going to be underneath where I glue it and I'll get the folded edges later all right oh you know what I do need to do this part because you'll be able to see that through the thumb notch So I'm just going to add my glue right along right along this edge. Trying not to go get too much here. I don't want it to um, I don't want to glue my whole pocket shut, but I'm going to grab something to put in here oh, so that I don't glue it shut. <laughs> all right, and this doesn't go all the way down, but it'll be okay. All right, just like that. And I'm gonna let that dry a second and we'll move on to, cause I, this glue I think probably takes a little longer and I know that I kind of squished it out the sides probably. So I'm gonna leave that sit over here um, for a second. And then to make the tag part, now I believe, I, gotta, I have to think for a second. I need to just take a little bit off oh, glue there, off of my edge, my sides here. Um, And I'm just gonna make it a little bit shorter because when we create the pocket, um, that is actually gonna be shorter. So I'm just taking off like the white parts of the page. And then we'll see here if it will fit or not. You know what, let me go ahead and take off some of this side too. All right, and then fold it in half. And 
we'll just check. Yep, it'll fit right inside there now. All right. So I'm gonna glue this together and I'm gonna use my glue stick just in the middle. You could, if I was not doing this in a timed challenge, I would sew it, but this is fine as well. And then just a little glue on the edges to, you know, so it's nice and secure. Isn't that pretty? I love this book. Um, I can't, I don't have it sitting here. I was going to try to tell you what it was called. <laughs> if you're interested, let me know and I'll put it in the comments. If I remember, I will um, add it to the description. But if you don't see it in the description box and you're interested, just leave me a comment. It's not the concise British flora. I have that and it looks very similar. This one is not though. This is, um, whoops, this is different and I can't remember what it's called. Very similar layout though. Okay, so there is our tag and what I wanna do is round the corners and ink it up. to our pocket here. We'll let that dry for a minute. All right. Okay. Then what you want to do is um, fold up your bottom edge here and I don't know about a half an inch I guess um, it doesn't really it's not the most critical thing in the world I'm gonna run out of time I thought I was doing good all right and then what I do is um, just miter the corners a little bit. And then I cut this piece here that is up against the back of the tag just because um, it's just too much, it's too much bulk. And you wanna make sure that you don't cut Oh, that's lovely. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. Don't, you don't want to cut e the back part. So just be careful when you do this. And then we can glue our flap down.
And then this will be our tag, so it fits in there nicely. And we'll add it. We'll add something to the top of that. Normally, if I wasn't so um, time constrained, I would decorate this up further. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that today. Let me see. Um, let's go ahead and use some of the pink. This is kind of a hot mess here at the end. Let's, um, yikes. Well, that is just a nightmare. <laughs> Come on. All right. I still have to make one more thing and I don't know what it's going to be. Um, yeah. All right. And I think I'm just going to make this simple. Let's just go with simple. There we go. And I only have four minutes left. Okay. Well, there is our, yeah. I mean, I wish I could decorate it further, but I don't have time. Um, and then what could we do real quick? Let's make this into a tag. Huh. Get some of this off the edge here. Not terribly exciting. Sorry, guys. I thought I was doing good on time. How wrong was I? <laughs> oh, well, right? Okay. Like I said, this just came off. It's a, somebody stamped it, and then it was on an envelope um, that I received in Happy Mail. So let me grab some... have some tea dyed cardstock here and I'm just gonna I'll tear that down I guess Let's...
I have this uh, this really pretty trim here. Oh, geez. Like you would think it would be easier to find the end, but oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> rushed but pretty so that could be you know it could be a tuck spot or um, something like that I think that's cute I only have 30 seconds left so I feel like trying to add something to that is I'm just gonna go over time but yeah all right so we made a little pocket and a tag out of a book out of two book pages. We used um, a Reader's Digest back cover here. I'm just gonna turn this off and made a little um, flip out thingy, and we have a tag inside there already. Yeah. All right, guys. I think that was okay. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to sew that. It's not sticking. So I kind of failed, I guess, but that's okay. I'll just take it to my sewing machine and just run a stitch um, along there. Maybe a, maybe a different glue would have been better, but that's okay. I can do that really quick and it'll be fine, but that's super cute. Now it's not, I'm going to have to put it under something heavy because it's wanting to curl. I thought the Yoohoo stick wasn't supposed to do that, but I find that it does. And then I like this little one. This is cute. All right, guys, that's it. I hope that that was, you know, fun for you. I hope maybe that you found some inspiration um, to get crafty today. That's my goal. And uh, yeah, um, it was fun spending some time with you. Thank you for spending some of your Monday with me. And I will be back Wednesday. Um, I have an idea for a um, sort of, I don't know, tutorial um, craft with me uh, thing. And I'm kind of excited about it. So I'm going to prep today for it. And then um, that will be on Wednesday. And if I decide to do it, um, you will see a whole video tomorrow. Um, but I'm just not sure if I want to do that yet. <laughs> so... <laughs> to be determined. I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday until I see you again. Um, take care of yourselves and uh, yeah, talk to you soon guys. Bye.